This 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave Edition in Snazberry Pearl Coat is stock number 21J147. We are here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Your new and used Jeep and Jeep Gladiator headquarters. I'm pretty excited to show you this Gladiator today. It's our first Snazberry that we've had on our lot. We've seen a couple of these at the auto show but this is the first one that we've received to our lot. It has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor, pumps out 285 horsepower. The Mojave Edition is the extreme off-road package for uh, desert racing offered by Jeep on the Gladiators. And it's got a lot of cool things that go with it. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, or television, turn them on right now, because it is your best way to check out the look, styling, and color, and options of the vehicle before seeing it in person. First thing you'll notice is that all the lettering's got the orange outline on it, including the desert rated badge and the Jeep logo right there. You get the rock rails with the Mojave package. This one has the color matched hard top and fenders. You get Falcon Wild Peak all terrain tires. These are LT285 70R17s and they come with the painted and polished aluminum rims. Definitely an all terrain tread pattern to them. This one has the jounce bumper bumpers on here. You get the heavy duty Fox shocks. Um, this one does have a little bit of a lift from the factory and this is actually the tallest gladiator you can get um, it's I believe it's about an inch taller than the Rubicon even this one has the LED lighting group it has the front trail cam on it as well you'll notice you get the powder coated orange hill hooks on there LED fog lights LED running lights LED headlamps LED uh, halo running lights around the headlamps. You get the hood scoop on there and they put that high up so if you're racing in the desert you're not picking up all the sand and dust. We'll take a look at the original window sticker, actually a copy of the original window sticker. I don't have the original window sticker for this Jeep. Feel free to pause this. I'm not going to go through everything, just some of the main points. Um, you can see it does have the 3.6, the 8-speed automatic transmission. You get the Jeep Wave membership with this vehicle. Heavy-duty Dana front and rear axles. Um, 410 to axle ratio. Everything's standard there. Then your optional equipment starts at the Snazberry 245. Leather trim bucket seats are $16.95. The trailer tow package is $3.95. Uh, the premium LED lighting group is $13.65, which is... I think is a good deal. 8.4 radio and premium audio group gives you the factory nav. That's $1,995. It also gives you the GPS navigation system, off-road info pages, Alpine premium audio system, Sirius Guardian for a year, and Sirius Travel Link and Traffic Plus for five years, which is a pretty sweet deal to get those for five years. Uh, Jeep Active Safety Group is $895. Gives you the Park Sense and the Blind Spot cross path detection adaptive cruise control is 795 with the automatic high beam headlamp control as well soft fold tryout or soft trifold tonneau cover by Mopar is 625 eight speed automatic transmission is 2000 bucks the select track full time four wheel drive system is 695 remote proximity keyless entry is 645 the color match hard top is 2495 and the color match fenders are 695 so 30 $200 for the color match fenders and the hard top. Uh, wireless Bluetooth speaker is $295. The 17 inch rims are $995. Remote start is $495. Spray and bed liner is $495. And the Ford front facing trail cam is $595. Total MSRP is $62,905. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives, in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website where you can get those rebates and incentives on this particular Jeep. This one's going to get you 22 highway, 17 city, average of 19. And uh, you get front crash test ratings of 4 and 5 stars, and the rollover is 3. It's not rated for anything else. We'll get back to that really good looking interior in just a second. 
I do want to show you underneath because this thing is basically one big skid plate underneath. And that's obviously for if you're off-roading in the desert, you're not going to wreck any of the crucial uh, drivetrain parts or anything else that might be vital to your vehicle. And of course you get those rock rails which keeps your body from getting any damage. You get the heavy duty Fox shocks. Everything is definitely beefy underneath. You get a matching spare tire, which is pretty sweet. Another thing I like that uh, they do on these painted fenders is they put a 3M plastic rock guard there because these can get all chipped up and stuff, but kind of thinking of your investment there. There's the trifold soft tonneau cover by Mopar. You get the LED tail lamps, the orange tow hooks and back, parking sensors, towing package, which includes the receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. Has the shot down assist tailgate, so it's never gonna slam on you. And then you do get the LED bed lighting back here. Spray and bed liner. And that tailgate is super light. Also note that it's locking. Bed rail covers. And at the end of the video, we're gonna do a walk around with all the lights on so you can check out all those LED lights, blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, enter and go system, the leather trim bucket seats with the Mojave package gives you the black leather with the orange stitching, the orange Mojave stitched into the backrest. Driver's seat height adjuster, lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt and telescopic steering wheel, power mirrors, power locks, and we'll hop inside here. You get the Jeep animation at the beginning there. The seven inch LCD display, compass, outside temperature, digital speedometer, um, all that good stuff like the normal Jeeps have. You get the orange stitching on the steering wheel. It's leather wrapped, has the cruise control, the adaptive cruise control, so it'll actually keep you a certain distance from the car in front of you on the highway. And if they uh, speed up, it'll speed you up to your set um, cruise control. Or if somebody, if you come up on somebody that's going slower than you, it'll actually slow you down to their speed so you maintain that distance. And you use those buttons to control that. Cruise control, information center controls are, uh, I'm sorry, Bluetooth and information center controls on this side. You do get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one comes with the 8.44C radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Remember to get Sirius Guardian for a year, Traffic and Travel Link Plus for five years. You get the orange anodized vent rings. And then you get this, it's kind of a textured, finish to the dash and it's like a mineral gray I like it orange stitching on the dash as well um, so on here you can do your different controls you got your backup camera which is pretty sweet and then you can zoom in over your receiver hitch so that you get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time and then you have the front cam so when you're going off-road you can kind of see where those um, grid lines are going to be for your tires, which could be super helpful. And then you can clean the camera too. It sprays uh, windshield washer fluid on there. Watch this. So that's pretty cool as well. And then, um, of course, you get the factory navigation system. You can do all your climate controls here. You can also do um, projection manager, where you can project your cell phone to the screen via Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So if you want to use a different navigation system or if you just want to use um, or if you want to just play music through your phone and per control it on the radio you can do that too 
Uh, we actually did a demo on Android Auto. If you want to check that out, it's in the upper right hand part of the screen. Click that link there. This one has the off-road pages. They do take a second to load, so while they're loading, I'll show you. You can do your climate controls down here, start-stop capabilities, stability control, parking sensors, uh, crawl control, and then you can turn the screen off. There are your off-road pages. You get your steering angle, whether your rear axle is locked or unlocked, transfer case, you have your accessory gauges right there, your pitch and roll, um, latitude, longitude, altitude, and then you can also check out the trail cam from here as well. So, pretty cool stuff on there. Your window controls are right here. You got your axle locker right there, and then off-road mode where you can actually go into four-wheel drive low um, and uh, go at considerable speeds. I believe it's 45 miles per hour. I'd have to look that up, but you can go in four-wheel drive low um, at higher speeds in that off-road mode. AUGS, USB and USB-C, eight-speed automatic transmission, has the keyless entry with a remote start. You get the flipper key on there. Um, definitely a heavy-duty key fob. It's very chunky. Um, I always like the new Jeep key fobs, and you can actually store them right in there when you're not using them, so that's kind of handy too and still use your cup holders. Anyways, do like that dash, all the stitching on the seats. These front hard top pieces come off just like any other Wrangler. Um, SOS and assist buttons in, are right up there. Note that you get these seven slotted vents there and then the auto dimming mirror. Home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. And we'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll also take a final walk around with all the lights on. Back seats are all trimmed out just like the front seats. You get the latch child safety system back here. Sliding rear window with the built-in rear defrost. These headrests do fold down for better visibility. You can store stuff behind there when you have all the top off and everything and then it locks with the ignition key So that's handy as well Storage underneath there. There's your bag for your Front hard top pieces and then you have a storage bin for all your bolts for your roof windshield and doors Factory floor mats back here You do get a hundred fifteen volt 400 watt plug-in and then two USBs and two USB-C ports back here as well. Child safety locks on the back doors. And I think that pretty much does it. We'll do one more final walk around and once again I'd personally like to thank you for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video. Um, you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. In the upper right there's a link to subscribe. Um, to our YouTube homepage and click the bell notifications. We do daily videos just about every day, usually not Sundays, but mostly every day. So click that to get those notifications and check out all of our new and used inventory. There are those LED running lights, LED headlamps, and LED halo lamps, and fog lamps. And to see more pictures of this Gladiator or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Gladiators, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left. Link to more Gladiator videos like this one in the upper right. A link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left. And a link to our latest YouTube video in the lower right. Click those, check us out. And we really look forward to be offering this 2021 Jeep Gladiator Mojave Edition in Snazberry Pro Coat. Thanks again for checking out the video.